Good evening and thank you so much for joining us. Tonight, medical marijuana supporters in Kentucky are feeling encouraged, believing this may be the year it will be legalized in the bluegrass state. And all it needs is a house vote. But as Eyewitness News reporter Gil McClanahan tells us, supporters are cautiously optimistic about the future. Opinions on medical marijuana seem to be changing across Kentucky, and those that use it on a regular basis couldn't be happier and relieved. Trying to show a little more empathy or and sympathy. Senate Majority Leader Damon Thayer had been a very vocal opponent of medical marijuana, but now he is one Kentucky lawmaker who has changed his views. The advocates uh, who are, are suffering and believe that uh, medical marijuana can help with their their pain and their suffering. Are you feeling uh, optimistic? Oh, yeah. I'm, How? I, you know, I, I think it's really going to pass. <laughs> Justin Lewandowski of Paintsville has been using medical marijuana to treat chronic pain and PTSD since 2005 when he was medically discharged from the Army. He and others have been fighting for 10 years to get medical marijuana legal in Kentucky. For me, you know, I can, you know, ease. I can, you know, go to down the street, pick up my medicine, come back home, and you know, you know, use my medicine at home, and you know, not have to worry about being arrested or going to jail. He's excited about Senate Bill 47 that would legalize medical marijuana in Kentucky in a narrowly crafted bill. The bill does not allow medical marijuana to be smoked, only ingested. It just takes longer for an edible, you know, to, you know, to kick in. You know, with, you know, when you're smoking, it kicks in you know, instantly. The House in past sessions has passed medical marijuana legislation. I think it's the time to hear and it's going to be finally going to pass. The House is expected to vote on the legislation sometime during the final two days of the General Assembly next week. In Johnson County, Kentucky, Gil McClanahan, Eyewitness News.